why no one will ever live in space. Nobody tells you this, but space smells like burnt steak. Astronauts describe a metallic, charred scent clinging to their suits after a spacewalk. And that's just the start of the cosmic nightmare. Because the truth is, no one will ever live in space. Here's why. Your body starts breaking down the moment you leave Earth. Bones weaken, muscles shrink, eyesight blurs. Even blood gets confused, pooling in the head and making faces puff up like balloons. After just a few months, astronauts return with brittle bones, heart problems, and nerve damage years would make it worse. Radiation is an even bigger threat. Space isn't just a big empty void. It's a mm. war zone. Cosmic rays, high energy particles from distant stars, slam into your DNA, scrambling it like a bad science experiment. This isn't just about getting cancer, which is already a big risk. It's about your brain slowly frying, causing memory loss and cognitive decline. Mars settlers could forget why they came in the first place. The human mind wasn't built for space. Being alone for too long can feel strange. Being millions of miles away in a tin can with the same five people for years is much worse. Sleep gets messed up. Depression creeps in. Even the most stable astronauts start hearing things. NASA studies show that isolation and confinement lead to paranoia, breakdowns, and hallucinations. Space isn't just physically hostile, it's mentally brutal. Every basic need becomes a struggle. You need oxygen, but you can't breathe the air outside. You need water, but there are no rivers or rain. Food has to be grown, but that is nearly impossible. Every single thing must be recycled, rationed, or shipped from Earth. The cost is massive. If just one supply chain breaks, so do you. Gravity is another silent killer. Zero gravity might seem fun at first, but gravity keeps the body working properly. Without it, fluids float to the head, making astronauts look permanently congested. The heart gets lazy, pumping blood in strange ways. Even on Mars, where gravity is 38% of Earth's, the body would suffer. It's enough to confuse biology, but not enough to keep it healthy. Sci-fi makes it look easy, but real space is harsh, deadly, and indifferent. 